Hey everyone, I am so excited to be bringing you this DIY boys room makeover on a budget. You will get some really great decorating ideas from this video. I will be doing a bedroom DIY and this is a modern farmhouse bedroom makeover. If you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. As you can tell, this is the room before, a very plain, very bland, there was nothing going on. And we are going to start off with the batten wall, board and batten wall. Correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but we just got some of this lumber at Lowe's for an inexpensive price. You don't have to choose the top notch stuff, just what you need. And we went ahead and gave it a sanding just to make sure that it was just right to go up on the wall. We will have to move the beds out of the way because this is where we are going to put it on this wall that has nothing on it to really use as an accent wall. And of course you want to be sure to really measure everything out, especially when you are trying to put different accents on there. First go in with your measurements so you know where you want to place everything. Also, you want to measure board by board because let's be honest, walls are not perfect. You want to make sure that everyone is going to fit in there just right. And we went ahead and on the bottom and the top of the wall, we used one by fours and we made sure to find the studs. So if at all possible, we could always get the studs in the with the nail gun with the wood to the wall because that's the best way to secure it i don't really like using glue on the wall otherwise i would use the thinner boards but something about using the glue on the wall i know i'm not going to be in this house forever so i want to make sure that whoever's here next if they want to take it down it's not going to destroy the wall in the process Next, we're gonna work on getting the one by threes on the wall. So in between the wall spaces, we did one by threes, and then the top and the bottom, like I said, are one by fours. I will leave this in the description box down below, so if you guys have any questions. Like I said, I measured everything out so that we knew exactly where the spacing was and how to equally space it out. And if you have any extra questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I do not mind answering them at all. Now we're going to go in with the caulking and we're just going to caulk all of the seams which kind of seems like a lot and it kind of was but go in caulk all the seams because it will give give that seamless look for the transition from the wall in the wood also we decided last minute that we were going to paint this entire bedroom i was just going to do that one accent wall but we plan on painting our whole house anyways and I figured, you know what, we kind of made a mess with the caulk so I said, let's just paint the whole room. This will be the first room we start with the paint and that's just exactly what we did. So I am sharing with you the first coat that I did. I did not film the second coat because my husband did it and he doesn't particularly love being on camera. And on top of it, I felt like that would just be really repetitive for you as well. You only need to see one coat, right? So this color is actually Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, and it's definitely more beige than I thought it would be, but I still absolutely love how this color turned out on the walls. So funny story, you're going to see here, I'm going to do the top of the window 
And for some reason, when I was doing the top of the window, I did half of it and then stopped and got sidetracked and started doing the inside of the window and then completely forgot to finish the other half of the top of the window. I did not notice the entire time my husband came in when I was all done and he was like, hey babe, you gonna paint that? <laughs> And I was like, oh, I totally just completely missed that. I don't even know how I did that, but I did. I thought it was super funny, so I figured I would leave that in there and share that with you. Now we're going to take this, I believe, 80 grit sandpaper, and we're going to sand down all of the caulking so it is flush with the wood so that when we paint it you can't see where we caulked all the holes or the seams so it's a perfect transition. Right afterwards, I go in with this sandpaper, which is 120 grit, just to smooth everything out. I did not show that just because I thought it would get really boring watching me sand. But we're also going to go in right afterwards and make sure that we really clean up this area because before you paint it, you want to make sure it's really clean and doesn't have a bunch of debris and everything because that will be a reason why you paint chips or doesn't hold up. So I went ahead and I really dusted everything off really, really well. I even came in with a damp cloth and just really wiped everything down to make sure to grab all of that dust and get it off. For the accent wall, we are going in with the color from Valspar called Rugged Suede. This is kind of like a dark gray beige tone color. It's very gray, but it's also got a beige undertone. So it goes really well with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. I made sure of this before we even bought the paint. I looked at the samples, made sure they matched up really well. And this is a color we're actually familiar with because my husband loves this color. We actually painted our fireplace this color at our old house. So we already knew we loved this color. So I went ahead and picked this first and then we made sure that it went with the agreeable gray. And I absolutely love how it turned out. It made the room very masculine, which we're doing this for our two younger boys. So that's exactly what we were trying to go for. Now that the painting is all done, the fun part begins. We are going to vacuum the floor before we go ahead and lay down the new rug.
This rug I'm about to lay out was very inexpensive for this size rug on Amazon. I will go ahead and link everything that I can possibly link in the description box down below. A lot of it is Amazon orders because I just find that when I'm trying to shop on a budget, that is shopping online is the best way to do it because you can really visually obviously see you don't have to run to a bunch of stores and I can compare prices. So I found a lot of this stuff that was super budget friendly on Amazon. So most of it I will be able to link down below for you. And if you are looking for anything else and I might have missed it, just feel free to leave me a comment down below. these beds I found off of Amazon once again like I said most of the stuff is from Amazon but I found these farmhouse style beds on Amazon they're twin size beds perfect for little ones this size because it's not too high so he's able to climb up and down perfectly fine by himself and these were really inexpensive I actually ended up spending less than a hundred dollars for one and when I went on and originally put it in my cart, I think it was a little over a hundred. I think it might've been $120 for the frame. And then I let it sit there cause I wasn't ready to buy it yet. And it went down to $90. So I ended up spending less than a hundred for this bed frame and I bought two of them. So if you like this, put it in your, your car and watch it for a few weeks and see if it drops. And when it does drop, that is your time to buy it. I also picked up this nightstand side table at TJ Maxx. I absolutely love it. I had keep, kept my eye out for it for a while and finally came across it and I was so happy I did because I just love it. It's a perfect wood accent tone in this room and in this dark area. I also have these signs that I picked up through smallwoods.com. I love their stuff. My pictures downstairs of the boys are from them as well if you are familiar with my channel and my makeovers and you know what I'm talking about and I get so many compliments on them this was the most inexpensive route for me to go with putting their names on the wall I really wanted to do a name sign above their beds and it's so expensive like all the Etsy ones and I know it's well worth it because they work hard on them they definitely deserve the money but I just did not want to spend that in the budget so this was the most expensive way inexpensive way to do it because small woods always does like discounts and when you buy two or more they always give you a discount as well so this was very inexpensive for me to do a sign like that whereas on Etsy it would have been double triple the price I also bought these lights on Amazon as well. These lights were, they're actually electrical lights, but I'm just going to pop some like tap lights in them. And it's more for decoration to be honest, but I got them on Amazon. It was a set of two. Once again, it was the most inexpensive one I could find. And I knew I really wanted just this look and this style above the photo of their names so I went ahead and just grabbed these very you know rustic farmhouse but I absolutely love how it looks. Next we're going to hang the stuff above the dresser just to give it some more decoration and I found this round mirror on Amazon and I actually got the decorating above the dresser from my friend, Intentional Spaces. I love her channel. If you've never seen her channel before, definitely go through and check out her stuff. She did her children's room and she did a very similar, if not the same, just a little bit different uh, shelves. She did the mirror and the shelves and I just loved how it turned out. It looked so good. So I wanted to go ahead and do that as well in my boys room. So I will link her down in the description box. I absolutely love her. She is such a sweetheart and I know you guys will love her channel as well if you don't know who she is already. 
But yeah, I got the idea from her and I just love how it turned out. Next, we are going to move on to changing out the curtains. I always do blackout curtains in the boys' room, so they always cost me a little bit more. I actually do blackout curtains in just about every room. We really don't like the sunlight coming in and waking us up. But I do spend a little bit more on them because they are blackout, but I still buy the most affordable blackout curtains. So I got those off Amazon as well, and they're a true beige color, and they're truly black out. So worth every single penny. And now we are just going to clean up before we decorate this little area. Most of the decor that I'm using today is stuff that I've already had. That silver elephant is actually my great grandmother's and I love incorporating it. And the giraffe was from TJ Maxx. That was really the only thing that I really picked up. And I really just like the idea of having their little lights on a shelf and their camera for me to be able to see them on the shelf because it was on the dresser before and they just kept messing with it. <laughs> so. I also had this basket that I was going to use for diapers and wipes and I wasn't going to put much on their dresser just because they will mess with it. So the, Tristan's still just too young, but that basket was just a little too tall I felt like so I will keep my eye out for another basket that I feel like will fit that space perfectly and eventually add it. Now though, we are moving on to doing the beds. And if you notice here, I am putting these big swim noodles, pool noodles, whatever they're called in this sheet because my two-year-old is still a little too young. He might fall off the bed. He is transitioning from a crib to this bed. So I wanted to make sure that he would be safe and not be able to get out. But I also did not want to put those big railing ones on there. For one, they could chip the paint on the metal. And for two, I just don't love how they look. And I saw this idea on Pinterest. So I went ahead and thought I would give it a try. I really wanted to get the medium sized pool noodles, but they didn't have any at Walmart. They only had the really large ones and the really small ones. Really small ones were not going to work. So I went ahead and just got the really large ones and I'm happy I went with them because we have not had any issues. He's sleeping so snug in his bed and he fits on it just fine. Once again, I will link all of this stuff down below, but the sheets are from Target. That small beige and black pillow is from Target and all of the rest of the bedding is from Amazon. This blanket that I'm putting on now, oh my goodness, you guys, it's so incredibly soft. I cannot even tell you. It is so, so soft. I was very impressed and it was like the cheapest throw blanket they had. So I'm very impressed. The reason why I didn't put a pillow on Tristan's bed the smaller pillow is because I was waiting for one to come on Amazon. Target apparently does not sell it anymore, but I did find it on Amazon, but I had to wait for it. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I am so impressed with how it came out. Seriously, far exceeded my expectations. I absolutely love how it looks. It's perfect for a little boy's room. Such subtle touches of light colors and dark colors all mixed together. I want to thank you guys so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.